How's it going, boys? And I'm not gonna lie, it's hard for me to currently contain my excitement because it is exactly as I predicted. Arcane Bombardment is gonna be the most broken by a landslide overpowered card in the standard rotation. If your deck is not gonna be built about around Arcane Bombardment, it is not an S tier deck. This card's power scaling is 10 times greater than absolutely any other card we currently have in the standard rotation. Let me explain how this works. For 6 mana, you drop an enchantment, and every time, the first time at each turn you cast a spell, that means one time on your turn, one time at your enemy turn, you exile a random card from your graveyard, and you can play it. It doesn't need to be targeted, it can be an AoE, you can choose what it does. Essentially, you exile a card and you play it for free, but the kicker with this card is, after you exile that card, it doesn't disappear. The next time you cast an instant or a sorcery from your hand, you do this effect again, and you can play now two cards that you have exiled. Needless to say, the power level of this card is beyond ridiculous, especially the fact that we can use things like Magmus Opus and Creative Outburst. Yes, these two cards already make this insanely whack, because these are extremely powerful, high-impact cards that ramp. Oh yes. But there are more cards that you can use. Since this can be done at your opponent's turn, you can easily just recycle counter spells non-stop. So if your opponent does not have a uh, if your opponent does not have a counter spell, you're just preventing their wipes. And the best part about Arcane Bombardment, if there are some cards that you need to play two copies of, no, with Arcane Bombardment, one copy is enough, and you're completely stomping the game. I'm not kidding. This card is so ridiculously overpowered. And this is just the first draft of deck, uh, the deck that I made, and it's already mind-blowingly overpowered. Look at this, Inscription of Ruin. Every, ev every turn, I can just cast this, and my opponent has to discard two cards from his hand. Insane. If someone is not... E no, even Graveyard Exile doesn't help, because the moment Arcane Bombardment exiles the card that you want uh, at random, it is under Arcane Bombardment, and exiling the graveyard no longer does anything. Obviously, sideboard shenanigans are also insane. Environmental Science, free 2 HP every single turn. Teachings, draw if you want, exile anything, mascot... I, I, I can't. This card is literally the most bonkers thing we have received in months, years, I would even say. This card is gonna just destroy standard. This, this card should be nerfed tomorrow in alchemy. J just straight up, make it 20 mana. If you, ma like, if you make this card 20 mana cost, even then I ar arguably will say it's probably still too overpowered. Because if you get that 20 cost and you drop it, you just tend to win the game. It is insane. And the ways you can combo this is, is off the charts also, because it just requires red. So that means you can make a dual color deck, a tricolor deck, anything that you want. I personally went with this because I think it has a decent amount of negates, a decent amount of draws, a decent amount of life gain, a decent amount of removal, a decent amount of anything. 24 card, uh, 24 lands to be specific. A 4 average, but that's a, a arguable 4 because we have Magnus Opus and Creative Outburst, which technically kind of plays in. But you can honestly switch this around if you want. You can add maybe a Planeswalker to double up spells. You can do so many things, it's insane. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else I can say. It's, 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 just, it's just too much. It's, it's truly too much. But anyway, let's just get a crack in and see what happens. As much as I know, almost everyone unanimously made uh, Obnixilus deck in the first day of this uh, this being out. So, uh, the best that this deck is going to appear in everyone's radars is going to be today. And I said at the first day that that card is going to be most likely the most overpowered thing ever. And we're going to see how it works. Uh, three? Yeah, sure, why not? I don't know if, well, obviously your wins are gonna depend on what your uh, what your hand looks like, and we just poker got it. So maybe it's not the best thing in the world, but you know, who knows? Who knows? Trust me, I don't. I could I could play ten games, win zero, but even if that happens, eh, that's pretty annoying. 
But even if that happens, the moment... Oh, wrong bun. Eh, whatever, small things, small things. But even if that happens, the moment I drop that enchantment, you're just gonna all be instantaneously... Yep, that is, that is absolutely too overpowered. Oh, what the hell, wizards, thank you. You're gonna instantaneously see it the way I see it. There, there, there is absolutely no shot you don't. Uh, let's do this. Too bad I couldn't do it, but yeah. Uh, let's see what he does later on. I'm probably gonna get rid of that with play with fire. It doesn't matter. Honestly, wins don't matter. Just one drop. The only thing that probably is gonna semi-work here is gonna be... No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't. Attack me first, please. Attack me first. You have to do it, my friend. Why can't, by the way, I just... Ah, son of... Wait, what is this? Enchantment Aura. Who is he putting it on? That thing. Whatever. I'm gonna get rid of that probably next turn anyway, so I'm not too worried. One draw off of that card, and I don't honestly care what happens. We're absolutely smoking everyone. No questions asked. Currently, we kind of have the ram, but we're not getting the lands. 30% land draw ratio, pretty bad, but honestly, he's also kind of stuffed. But remember, as always, I say, it doesn't matter if your opponent has a 20% or 30% land draw ratio. If they're playing an aggro deck, they are still miles ahead of you. What does this do? I don't... Honestly, you know what? Don't even care. Don't... Didn't... Didn't ask. We, we have burning down the house, so it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Wow, he's playing a lot of stuff, which means if we get... Boys, I I am just, I am just fanboying just so hard right now. Okay, uh, that's free, so that means I can cast anything else. Also, the new animation for destruction effects is so good. They should sell those destruction effects as separate things, by the way. That's like 110% uh, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna probably do this, because we really need to find something, something. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Usable, at least. The only bad part is, is the fact that we can't really put that many instants per se in our deck. It's not really bad, bad, but you know. It would be nice if we could put more of them. Also, this guy is like seriously... Uh, ju <gasps> Wait, do I die if I... Ah, I kind of don't like this. Do I need to... <sighs> mm. What if we exile the wrong thing? I don't want to do this, honestly, but I think I, 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 I think we're kind of forced. I think we're kind of sadly forced to do it. Again, the moment I just drop this, it's, it's pretty much over. It's it's literally over. I get, he could technically bonsai tree it or something like that. Also, by the way, his average mana cost is one or two. Wizards is literally trying to force feed this guy with a spoon that went so hard I haven't seen in a long time, like 10 out of 10. And your actions don't matter. And the moment we exile... Wait, 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 wait. Why did they exile? Why did they exile? If a creature did this so... Oh, that is bad. Am I dead? Did I screw up, boys? I might have screwed up. We, we may be actually dead here. Are we? Yeah, no, 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 no. We're absolutely fine. We are, we are so, f uh, we are so fine. It hurts. It physically hurts. What did we exile? Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's gonna be, oh, nope, nope, nope. Do this. And no Kikarino. Thank you, wizards. Yeah. It, it, it just, it just does things, okay? <laughs> it just does things. And I can, 
I can do this. No, I, I, I am gonna do this. Next turn, we uh, we can negate any single card he plays anyway, so I think we should be fine, right? There's no punish. Well, even if we... No, maybe the safest choice was environmental science. Yeah, it doesn't matter, boys. It literally does not matter. Because what do we have exiled? Roiling. Uh, which means that we can literally just non-stop. What did we exile? Uh, burning down the house, sure, create devils, why not? Look at this! This guy got, got given two lands, which is, by the way, his perfect amount of lands that he wants to have in his life, and, he's, and he literally doesn't have a chance now, the moment I'm doing this. Because next turn I'm casting burn down the house down again, I'm casting this. Sooner or later I'm gonna be hitting that environmental science, as you can see, it's absolutely mind-blowingly insane. The moment you cast that card, if you do not get neutered the next turn, you win. There's nothing anyone can do about it. You, because you have won the value game. Unless your deck is full of cards that don't literally make a single shred of sense, you have won the game. Even if all the cards in your graveyard that get exiled are draw cards, you're still drawing something, which means you're gonna find a solution sooner or later. If it's all removal, well then chances are your opponent can't win against you because your deck is just that good. You know, because they, most decks are creature decks. There's, there does not exist technically something called burn currently. And also, this is too good of a hand to be true. Yeah, this is too good of a hand to beat through. I'm predicting some kind of magical loss. Well, maybe not. Who honestly knows, right? Uh, do this. Because, again, my main objective is just get Arcane Bombardment on the field. And watch this guy cry. Oh, boy. Literally, is there any card that even comes close to power scaling his Arcane Bombardment? I don't think so. I don't think so. Admittedly, if he's a control deck with 3 trillion uh, counter spells, it may be. Those are counter spells. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's. Okay, so can we win against the counter spell deck? That's really questionable. And boys, you know what it means. Uh, we all know what it means if we uh, start playing this deck and the only matchup we receive is counterspell decks. Which is, by the way, again, kinda impossible in standard because standard simply does not have enough good counterspells. Okay, okay. I think he's missing the land. That is a counterspell, so I need to be kinda careful. But I could theoretically try and force him. All the counterspell decks that... Okay, that's not a counterspell deck. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a counterspell deck. I'm gonna keep that because it's good. It's a card that draws. I like it. Oh, and it drew 10 out of 10, honestly. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. 5? If he does nothing next turn, I just win. Wait, is it smart actually to do that? Yeah, it's probably sad but smart to do it. Oh, he just conceded. I was actually in a bad position. <laughs> okay, but yeah, uh, that negate is now fully... The, the moment we exile the negate, it's fully recycled. Because each turn means once my turn and once enemy's turn. So... It's just a free negate every turn. This is a this is a sixth cost like complete negate. <laughs> I can't. Who thought that this is a good idea? This card is just so overpowered. It's absolutely insane. I I truly believe that if we're gonna see a single deck that does not you. This is the only S-tier deck now, I think. I don't think anything else comes even close to the power level now of these decks. Sure, 
And again, sure, you could be looking at this video and saying, well, it still doesn't deal with Selesny enchantments good enough. Ah, uh, that's true to a certain extent, I guess, but this is just the thing that I made because I w it's not it's not designed to go against the grain and destroy enchantment decks. We don't have enough cards that destroy enchantment decks. We just have counter spells, right? So if we just have counter spells and whatnot, uh, how does that work, right? H how will that work? Burning down the house could be good here. How will that work if we actually start putting cards that can destroy enchantments? Because we don't necessarily need to use uh, burn per se. Wow, everyone... What is this deck? Everyone just wants to use it for some odd reason and call it a day. This guy is ramping like hell's bells though. It is smart to use just by sentinel plus this. It's an old combo. Oh, uh, let's see. Drop it like it's hot. And I'm probably gonna be forced into doing this, yeah. He obviously taps it. Is this a... No, this is not an Obnixilus deck. I honestly don't know what this sh uh, what this could be. Uh, it's definitely something. <laughs> you know? It's definitely something. I want to use this, by the way, to look. Uh, at the top five cards and put uh, a card in uh, the in the hand do oh he's just attacking like that okay in that case i'm gonna do this even if he drops a planeswalker i'm not too afraid uh play with fire sure ditch it again what are you supposed to do against this if he doesn't insta just get rid of my enchant this is the again the first draft. Th this is literally the first draft of the deck. If it's not perfect, well, excuse me. But I would still say it's pretty damn solid, you know? I can do it at my opponent's turn also, so this should be fine. I, I, I want to keep six mana open for the thing, and I want to search with this. I'm not sure what my opponent's uh, play here is. I honestly have no clue. So yeah, kind of interesting. A Zomble. Yeah, this seems like some kind of Obnixilus deck because it has a bunch of 1 and 2 costs. There's, there's probably a big card, but the expansion doesn't have any really, really big cards that are actually worth it. The only thing I'm uh, mediocrely afraid is the fact that decks like this can potentially uh, run... Things like counter spells and enchant no, not counter spells, but enchantment removal is something that decks like this can easily potentially run, right? So I'm kind of a little bit worried about that one. Now, okay. By the way, here we're not finding it, and it's 20 cards deep now, which is a little bit insane in the membrane. There's no reason to not use royal here. I, wa I, I want to use something so he feels a little bit better using whatever he has left. I, I guess the only real thing that can stifle us is Wizards hiding that card in like the last 10 cards. Is this gonna be the treacherous whatever card yet again? It honestly feels like it is. It, it honestly does feel like it is. Also, I'm gonna probably cast this because I think I can. And that's also a look-up spell. Technically, we're doubling down. Well, no, uh, well, maybe not doubling down per se, but you, you kind of get the point. We are, we are double dipping in the amount of things that we can do. Oh, uh, we found nothing. Yeah, that's, pre uh, that's, that's pretty uvu right there. Okay, do this. It's not the best, but I am gonna uh, I, mean, I am gonna ramp up a little bit. Um, HP burn is technically a problem, but at the same time, is it really that much of a huge problem? Oh my God, we actually got it. If he does not have enchantment removal uh, again, we're just gonna pound this guy into oblivion. I'm gonna take this. We're probably exiling this, which means I am going to get to the point where I can uh, just... 
I am going to get to the point where I can literally just exile his enchantments constantly at this uh, at this stage. That that's where we're kind of at. Oh boy. I wonder what this deck is. Essex is carriage now. That that that's sleeper OP, boys. Everyone knows it. I can I I will be pretty much running though with infinity life. So <laughs> you're racing if he, if he's not removing it, he can't win. I'm telling you, he can't. If he's not removing this, he can't win because I can I can cast this, gain three life next turn, use this, and chances are I'm already. Oh my God, this is gonna be amazing, and I'm still gonna have a red to play with fire. There's just nothing. There's just a li Actually, that's a lot of deeps. Um. Three. That's actually. Wait, 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 wait. That, that's a little bit too much, there, Chief. Uh, that's a little bit too much. How am I doing this? I don't have enough life gain. Okay, so. Is it the deal 5 damage one? Or gain life? Now it's deal 5 damage probably. Well, yeah, it makes sense, right? Uh, what did we exile? Yeah, sure, scaly boys, let's go. Yeah, no, this... Yeah, we, we're gonna lose this because we didn't have enough life gain, it seems like. Yep, we're losing this one because we did not have enough life gain. Just, 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 just pure and simple, right? Unless we hit this. No, there's nothing to hit. Yeah, there, there, there's just no. I already, yeah, I, I wasted it, but there was no chance. There, there was no chance. Sadly, we just did not have enough. He can't, yeah, we, we should have taken care of this. I didn't believe he's gonna have enough burn. Any Anything else, honestly, we win. Yeah, anything else we win, but this was just not enough life gain. If I could press that, could, no, there was no shot. Yeah, there was no shot. I need, I need to destroy his creatures faster. I did not expect this to be as effective, but it was. Uh, but again, you can easily... You can completely... You can easily ditch, by the way, the color blue if you want in this deck. I have blue, but you can easily roll with white. You can easily go white, red, black. And then you have baseline exile and baseline life gain in your main deck. You know? The two cost gain three life draw card white instant is still in the game. So... Ooh, purple's my color, my dude. Should I just concede to you because you're worth it? I don't know. Can't cast it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Ah, this seems bad. Dude, should I mulligan? I kind of like the indulgence. Mmm. Yeah. We could have won the last game. But he popped Essica's carriage and that thing at the, at the right time, so I had no shot. Wait, no. Actually, I... <gasps> No! I could have just blow. Oh no! What did I do? I could have just created devils. If I created devils, that would have been enough. All I needed to do was create devils, and that would have literally been enough. Oh, and I wanted the mulligan. Ah well, it is what it is. You already probably see it. We could have won the last game if we just created devils. Yeah, creating devils would have given enough time. Yep, 100%. Create Devils was the right play. Uh, and this is a bad hand and we're probably against Selesnya try hard. Because let's face it, if you're playing uh, if you're playing this, you're probably a Selesnya deck. And that's going to be questionable if we can actually win against it if we have such a bad hand. We can't this we can't even discard this and this <laughs> I told you it's Selesnya, it's easy to predict. Someone commented about my abilities to predict. Can I? Nope. 
Okay, this is a forced loss. Look at the hand. It is just exactly the wrong everything. The guy goes first. Perfect, perfect curvature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, no, no, there's no shot. Yeah, the, there's no shot. Lo forced loss. Uh, there's not. It, it happens. It, it happens. It happens often. By the way, if we get a good enough... Yeah, you see? We, we can't do anything. Literally... Uh, land cocked, opponent goes first. Perfect opener, perfect follow-up, perfect everything. I love it when... Uh, my, my favorite... Yeah, and you see... Oh, now you got the cut. Yeah, now... When it's it, literally too late. It is literally too late. And now Wizards gives me the potential solution. There's no winning against that. Then it's literally too late, but then Wizard just gives you the solution. Uh, I can, I can, I can, you see this, two bombardments, uh, this is just, cla uh, it's an absolute classic. I can get rid of this, but I still don't ha yeah, this is a forced loss. My opponent, Finn, first had the perfect hand, and we had the worst hand possible. This, this is how you know you're unstoppable. When this happens to you a lot. When the opponent gets perfection and you, and you are just slapped like a child around. Uh, just screw you in the college, screw you. N nothing castable, miss a monitor, and then when you can't win because it's too late, then you get the man. To slowly start and do something, but essentially you're just put in a position where you're gonna suffer. It is what it is. You go first. Uh, two the gates and burning down the house with going first and having all colors. Too good to be true. Perfect hands usually don't involve four lands. Perfect uh, hands involve two lands or three lands and you draw into what you need land-wise when you need it. This looks just like a land flood hand. Oh, but but still. You see how absolutely mind-boggling broken that card is, right? I, I'm not the only one who's seeing how much infinity potential that card holds. Admittedly, there is one weakness. And it's the fact that your graveyards get exiled before you get anything under them. But even then you can just... You can just ramp up to like 9 man and slowly get the right things under it. I, I still don't see a way that it can fail. Okay, let's hope for the best here, boys. Another Selesnia deck? Are you kidding me, wizards? See, this seems even... Uh, honestly, this seems too much for, even for you, my, my dear wizard friends. But yeah. Also, I like the music. I'm pretty sure you can't hear it because it's kind of low. But this relaxing music is pretty good. It's not actually your jazz, jazz, whatever. Dumbass. Oh, we got it. So is this a free win? Because, you know, uh, the, pe the peasant also needs a little bit of fun, uh, fun once in a while, huh? I don't know, but... We got this, which is at infinity access to the sideboard. We have a negate. We have a burning house and things. So, I, I do think we're honestly absolutely squeaky clean here. Cast this, we're gonna have... Yeah. So, this is... Yeah, this is just a free win for us. After after a crushing loss like that, we get a freebie. Well played, wizards. Uh, I bet no one notices when you do this, you know? I bet no one notices. Ah, uh, well, what am I even complaining about? Yeah, we're gonna probably get too much. Okay, okay, there is a chance we continue to draw lanes and never draw a sorcery. But I would say it's kind of a low ball play. Not gonna lie. So it's kind of good. I could also not do it now because I think we're gonna have. Oh no, we we got we 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 got the search card. Okay. This is what a free win looks like, boys. Prime pr prime A tier example. Look at this. This is the exact reverse of what happened last game. 
He doesn't have the lands. He has some plays. He can do a little bit, but I have all the solutions. I have all the lands. I have all the best cards in my opener. While he does literally have nothing. And they even gave me a second bombardment in case the first one gets uh, shafted or something. And if and if this does not get shafted, well, if the, if this gets double shafted, then I will probably cry, and insert a lot of cards to destroy enchantments just because I can. But honestly, the belief's not there, boys. The the belief is seriously not there. And he doesn't have it. Absolutely slapping. Well, what can he do now? Paladin class. Oh god, it's even a bad deck. <laughs> it's even a bad deck. Okay, okay. Uh, drop this as... A red short, why not? And just use this. And let's see. Uh, we're gonna deal 5 damage, just because I can. It doesn't... It, you see, the, the funny part is, it doesn't matter how or what I press at the moment. It, it's literally over. Because it's literally over. Even if he has a prison effect, he, here's the annihilation. What prison effect? <laughs> Admittedly, a prison effect is gonna ruin the cards below the arcane bombardment. Uh, but, eh, does it even matter? Do you honestly think it matters? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. The only thing I find maybe a little bit annoying is gonna be man lands but even man lands are like okay sure wait no i actually should do this right what did we get uh yeah sure why not yeah why not uh let's see uh, mascot exhibition again why not Oh yeah, uh, this is not perfect, but I'm gonna do it anyway. What did we exile? Ah, sure, why not? Just, just, just make it. Do, do you see? Do you see this? How are you supposed to rival this? You can't. You literally cannot rival this. I have had this card just on the board for. I should have taken red if I can play a land. But honestly, who, who cares? It's been on the board for only one turn, and you you can probably already tell how absolutely impossible this guy's situation is. <laughs> yeah, he's... I, I don't know what he's doing. He's obvious... Ooh! Okay, so yeah, here's the deal, right? He, he steals the bombardment, big deal. He's still dead. That's why I didn't care about uh, playing the Exile card. If you don't... What is the solution to this? Again, if, if, people, are pl if people start to play a huge amount of uh, things that deal with enchantments, we can just click the deck. Are you following? Because this is real complicated business right there, right? And... We can just add more negates. You know? That's an option. That's that's an easy option. We can add more negates, add, uh, add more inscriptions of ruin, and get rid of, uh, for example, uh, the Maestro's Charm, or... Honestly, these are a little bit overkill. You don't need that many of them, and, you know, everything else kind of does the same thing. So, yeah. You can easily add two more negates. You can easily add more fields of ruin. You can ditch this or you can ditch these. It doesn't matter. Your options... You have so many free options with this. It's fine. As long as you don't uh, lean too heavily into multiple... You know, for example, cards that are three colors but they require like three blue to cast. As long as you don't lean too heavily into that, your deck should be still well balanced so you don't get too mana screwed, right? Man, it's not even close. I'm checking my phone. St still hooking up with my ex-teacher, by the way, if anyone's curious. I like how everyone is being, being an ass and trying to underplay my achievement of hooking up with my 
ex-teacher. That's every kid's dream. That, that's literally the dream, boys. Also, is this event hard to tell? I have no idea what to expect for for Forsworn Paladin player. Probably the worst in life. <laughs> Probably the worst in life, though. This is a power play if he is going to be Obnixilixing us. But we do have two burning down the house now. So, kiss kiss. Chef's kiss, even. Uh, I'm not going to let him ramp more. Yeah, I'm not going to let him ramp more. Also, it's going to be... Uh, that's going to be our freebie way of acquiring enough mana. Also, does this deck have anything that destroys enchantments? I have a feeling it doesn't. I have a super feeling it doesn't. Maybe I'm wrong, but I kind of don't think I am. Because I, I, do, I, I don't know what to expect, you know? That's annoying, but... Well... I, I said that's annoying, but the the but the butt's really small here. Okay. Don't know what you're playing, my dude, but that rat thing, not today. Not not today, my friend. Uh, let's pick a red land. Honestly, it doesn't matter. A, a huge bo good part of our deck is the fact that uh, most of our removal is red, and the biggest mana cost is two red. So it's really easy to get these colors. Oof! Ah! Ooh, ooh! Ah! That's pain, bro. That's 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 a lot. That man. That. Mm. Ouch! That's big boy energy right there. Uh, not gonna lie. Not a fan. Get out. Thank you. See? See how easy that was? You just you just could never never listen to what your enemy tells you to do. Ooh, a kiki jiki. Yeah, I have a feeling there's no there's no world, right, where uh, our opponent legitimately has a way to deal with enchantments. The highest card I can think a deck like this could potentially run is the two cost instant where you have a choice between dealing three damage to a creature or destroying an artifact. I think that's the worst case scenario. And I complained about this uh on yesterday's video, but it is the fact that en enchantments are still prevalent and with this card enchantments are literally gonna be the strongest cards in the game by a landslide. I, I guess that's oof. Wait, why would you not play it at the right time? Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, do this. It doesn't matter, by the way, what I exile. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, free ramp. Uh, and you know what's the best part? I still have play with fire. He's just conceding. Oh my god. So what? We have currently... I don't know. This is 100% not edited. What, what do we have here? Currently four wins, two losses. And one of those losses was a guaranteed 100 uh, forced loss. Well, admittedly, one win was also a completely forced win. Just to balance out. Oh, by the way, a uh, technically cool card that you can put in this deck. I, I I chose to not, even though it does. It potentially has super huge and big implications. Is the this one, Kormala, Kormala, the cutie with a booty. Technically, this card could do wonders, right? For one mana, you get three mana, and you can cast instants or sorceries. That's pretty big for cards like Magnus Opus and Creative Outburst. Kind of shit for everything else, but you know. Uh, while Arcane Bombardment is not on the field, this is technically really good. It's a four cost. The haze doesn't really matter, but if you, if you drop this at four and you don't even have mana, it's still a four HP blocker, which is kind of awkward to deal with. So, you know, maybe you add this instead of the Maestro's Charm or whatever. It ca it's it's up to you how, if you want to do it. I think that... Per I, I personally think that card could potentially smooth the deck a little bit in some respects. If we replace the Charm with it. But, all in all, I don't think it's a big deal. But yeah, if we ignore one forced loss and one forced win, we technically have five wins. Even though one's a loss, but that's because I was an idiot. 
<laughs> what? It's true. I I was an absolute idiot there. there. There's there's no way to argue around that. Selesny, werewolves, I think. Okay, werewolves or not, I need to, to find the right cards. Yeah, that's not actually... Okay, I'm gonna keep it because we are still uh, going for burning houses. Uh, questionable. I don't like this. This looks really bad. Planned? Okay, okay. Uh, not that bad. I'm gonna play it like this because the royal kind of matters. Uh, if he drops a three cost here, we're kind of in in it. Another one. Yeah. Does does he not have more lands? That's honestly scary. By the way, the fact that he has no more lands is pretty scary. I'm okay taking this hit. By the way, because even if, as long as it's not, no. Uh, oh. This is one of the, the, well, this is the only one of two most overpowered green cards. This is really huge. At the beginning of your, uh, of, of your turn, put a plus one one counter on target creature you control. Then, if con uh, control a creature with power seven or greater, you may play exile. This is essentially just a free counter every single turn. This is like a ranger class, but better. Technically, Ranger class, but better. A lot better, in fact. Well, okay, a lot better maybe is not exactly the right, uh, the, the most right turn to use per se, but it's not bad, you know? I'm gonna take this damage. Oh, he did nothing. Yeah, I'm okay with this. For sure, for sure. Yeah, he's still not doing anything, and I need... I, it's risky because he may have haste effects, but boys, you know me. I, I am definitely a believer. That that's a Justin Bieber fan for everyone who doesn't know. Okay, I'm not a Justin Bieber fan. Uh yeah, that's super danger zone. Thank you though. You tried. <laughs> Here's your participation trophy. Okay, now I have no cards left, and he has a bunch of cards left. Not good. Unless... It's over. It's literally over. It is literally over. Also, we put so many good cards in the graveyard, it's insane. Please do not play anything huge. Oh, for it! Okay, now I need to luck out. That is the sad part. Now I need to luck out, please. Oh, wow. I didn't think you cared about me, but, you know, here you are caring like there's no tomorrow. Lovely dovely. Okay, I, I could win this. I could lose this. Okay, I have... I, I, okay, that's good. Okay, if he does not... Boys, you know the deal. It's down. It's dead. What up, baby? There's no way to lose because we're drawing co boys. Literally no way to lose. Play with fire. Who gives a shit? I play with fire every day. Every whatever. Okay, that's like super bad. <sighs> okay, okay, maybe that's a little bit much. Not gonna lie. Should have probably did, did the scry thing, but hey, it's fine. Oh. Uh... Can I actually do it and I s- e I should have attacked that. Actually, no, I can still hit this because it's all- Oh, wait, no! Idiot, idiot, idiot! Idiot! <laughs> oh, someone, someone, please. Please, someone, anyone. I am not- This was, again, a completely one game. Potentially a little bit lost because, you know, reasons. I can I can still exile, by the way, the big souse. And if I exile the big souse, it's gonna be like... <laughs> oh, you know. Wait, why? Okay, I'm gonna let you do whatever you're doing. Okay, I shouldn't have left let you do whatever you're doing. 
Now I'm now I'm losing one. Oh no, maybe I'm not losing 100. No, no, no. I think I'm still losing 100%. No, I'm not. Oh no, I am. I am. Yeah, it wasn't the Magnus Opus. It was the outburst. So. Oh wait, that's Storm the Festival. I'm still winning. Oh no! I thought it's the thing. Oh, you poor sweet little prince. Oh, so wait. There's nothing that destroys for one, right? Yeah, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Look at this. This deck is idiot proof. It's it. It's idiot proof. Okay, I'm gonna drop the second one because, boys, this is this this is like uh, this is this this is getting scary. You know, this is getting scary. And I, and, I, and I don't like scary things, okay? I do not. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna even go this, uh, as far as just do that instantaneously. I, I, I don't want it. I don't like it. And yeah, th this is good enough. Th this is literally good enough. I'm gonna go all in, by the way, on that. Good. Ha ha ha! Completely failed, by the way. But, wait, no, no, he still had. Oh, no, 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 no! Did I just lose because I'm an it? Yeah, yeah, no, wait. That doesn't have haste now, does it? Okay, as long as I get any instant or sorcery, there's nothing he can do. Literally nothing he can do. Okay, we gotta land. Yeah, I'm screwed. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, I, I, I could have done that a lot better. But as you can see, we currently have two kinda legit losses. And both of those losses are just me being stupid. Nothing really else. N not Nothing really else. J just, just me being stupid in general. Just me playing badly in general. This is roughly a 90% win deck currently. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Nice, wizards. How did you pr It took me one look at this card and predict that it's potentially gonna be the most brokenest thing in all of Standard. And wizards just prints it after, air quotes, testing, right? Anyway, this was Kuzu Sensen. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, check out everything, and have a nice day. Bye-bye!